Round three of the BNP Paribas Open began on Monday and there was an embarrassment of riches in store on the courts of the Indian Wells Tennis Garden with plenty to excite the fans of all ages. The first match of the day was between world number four Andy Murray and German Philip Kohlschreiber, each with a win apiece. Murray endured a battle in their last meeting at Roland Garros, but he raced to the lead in 25 minutes with no break points faced in the first set. <laughs> I think he must have had six lines in that point. Kohlschreiber took the upper hand after a 14-minute service game from Murray in the second set and produced a bit of magic when serving for it. What a shot! Wonderful hand skills. But it was back to business as usual for Murray and the decider, forcing a double break after saving break points of his own. <laughs> yes, nicely done. After an hour and 50 minutes, Murray was on his way to the fourth round to face Adrian Manorino. Okay, He'll be delighted he moves so safely into the round of 16 here. It's really been tough testing matches for me, even in the match against Pospisil. You know, he had some opportunities and, um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's been a good start to the tournament for me and obviously, uh, you know, if I want to go further, I need to continue playing well, but um, it's been a good start. Over on Stadium 2, world number 5, Kei Nishikori looked to progress to the fourth round here for the first time and to do so, he would need a first win over opponent Fernando Vadasco. The men split the opening two sets, but it was Nishikori who claimed the upper hand immediately in the third. And there it is again. More winners from the racket of the man from Japan. The Memphis champion is earning a reputation for closing out matches that go the distance. And after saving break points when serving for the match, he closed out the win after two and a quarter hours. That's a trademark finish from Kei Nishikuri. Stadium 3 were treated to an epic from veteran Juan Monaco and explosive young talent Thanasi Kokinakis, 12 years his junior. The 18-year-old has recorded his first two wins at this level this week, and he looked on course for a third after a confident opening set. But the world number 48 roared back in the second, including a dead cert for shot of the year already. Go on. And again. Oh, no way! No way! <laughs> that is incredible tennis. And on such an important point, too. Have a look at that. That is incredible. Kokonakis left for dead. Kokonakis needed treatment early in the third and after earning a break had a chance to seal the win. You might think that that was just wide, but he's got no chance to get a second opinion from Hawkeye. Got no challenges left. Oh, can you believe oh, it? Oh my word, it was wide. Despite being broken, the Australian regrouped to force a tie-break, in which he created two more chances to earn the victory. He's done it. And it was a gift in the end from Monaco. But he certainly deserves the victory. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Um, obviously, Davis Cup and Aussie Open, a huge experience for me. Davis Cup was uh, something I've never felt before, as far as pressures and stuff, but it was huge uh, for me to get through that. And obviously, my best week uh, on tour here, I'm really happy with how I'm going. After watching his countrymen from the comfort of the locker room, Bernard Tomic set up an all Antipodean clash with Kokinakis in the fourth round as he had a straight sets win over world number eight, David Ferrer. What a victory for Bernard Tomic. Headlining the night session was Novak Djokovic in a first world tour meeting with Albert Ramos Vinolas. The winner would face John Esner in the next round. The defending champion struggled for consistency in an opening set with five breaks of serve, but Djokovic did just enough to come out unscathed. It's a lovely way oh, he's just lent into that forehand. The world number two is hardly any better in the second set, but he found a way to break at the right moment. Okay, just enough there. After an impressive opening match, Djokovic will be happy only with the win from his second performance in Indian Wells. That'll do it. Relief, I think, more than anything else, is what Djokovic will be feeling. I'm well aware of the fact that uh, Albert Ramos Vinolas played well this evening. Fans' favourites Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal will continue their campaigns on Tuesday as the third round of the BNP Paribas Open concludes.